this is another uh, part of my list experience that's customizable. So uh, the form is the thing that lays out all the data in the list. This is sort of the, the master copy of a, of a particular list item. And so it's super easy to take this form and customize it and make it yours. First thing that you can do is you can just simply edit the columns that are shown in the form. So I want to, I don't, I don't want to show the duration field in the form anymore because that's automatically calculated. And I want to drag this notes field up uh, closer to capacity. I can hit save and you can see those changes are reflected in my form right away. But what if I want to do something a little more sophisticated? What if I don't always want to show this notes field? Uh, we now have the ability to do conditional show hide on fields. So I can uh, go back to that edit columns UI. I can highlight notes and I can edit this conditional formula or I can, I can specify a formula that uh, determines whether or not this field is shown based on the value of other fields in this list. And so I'm actually going to show you how easy it is for anybody to pick this up and make it work for them. So I'm actually going to click on this help link here and I'm going to show you the help page that you get uh, when you when you discover this feature for the first time. And you can see that in order to specify conditional logic for fields, all you have to do is specify an Excel-like if statement. And so this is the one taken from the, uh, taken from the Microsoft help page here. And you can see all I have to do is tweak this and make it work for me. So instead of category, I want to base this condition off of the capacity field. And instead of checking for project management, product management, I want to check for values above 50. So what I'm doing here is I only want to show the notes field if, the, if my capacity is above 50. Notes are only relevant if it's a particularly large session with a large capacity. So I can save here and I can see, oh, the notes field went away. But if I change capacity to 70, notes comes back, you know, order snacks. That's important to keep in mind for this conference. All right, wonderful. So I've customized this form. It's working for me and my team. Uh, those of you with a keen eye may have noticed, hey, there's this cool header at the top of the screen. This isn't part of the out of the box SharePoint form, is it? Um, I'm proud to show you how easy it is to configure basic headers, footers, and layouts of the form. So if I click configure layout, You see here that uh, you can now apply formatting to the header, the body, and the footer of a form. And so admittedly, this is a little bit of a power user feature. If you're familiar with uh, SharePoint column and view formatting JSON syntax, you'll be familiar with the ability to specify header and footers here. So I can change to footer. I'm just going to go over here and grab a block of JSON. Is that in? And right there, I've sort of added a standard footer to my form that gives people a link to learn more. And so Power Apps is still a great way to build totally custom line of business apps uh, as forms on top of a list, but this is the best way to do something really quick and dirty and simple. If you want to keep people inside the SharePoint form and just show a link or a header at the top, this is the feature for you.